Danville High School, one of 14 high schools in Santa Cruz County that took part in the National School Walkout Day. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was on campus when they tried to make their voices heard when it comes to tighter gun control. Watsonville High School students made their voices heard as one. They always tell us like, oh, you guys are just kids. You guys don't know what you're doing. But I think us coming together as high schoolers and organizing this is really empowering. Throughout the country and here in Watsonville, the lesson taught today in school was peaceful civil action. With high schoolers targeting lawmakers. We're getting media attention. Congress can't ignore like all of their students and all the teenagers that are standing up against gun violence. Most students wore black in memory of those who died in Parkland, Florida, as well as other campuses where gun violence has taken lives. More than 2,000 students surrounded their campus in a show of support, forming a human wall. It was to symbolize they are united in protecting their school and one another. We can be the next school and I just don't want that to occur what from what happened in, in Florida. While other school districts may have hesitated about a student march over gun violence, there was none by the Pajaro Valley Unified School Administration. Our goal is to really create not only leaders of the future but leaders of today. I think these activities will show you that they are being leaders of today. This nationwide action is one of several protests planned in coming weeks. Later this month, there will be the March for Our Lives rally, and another round of school walkouts is expected on April 20th, the 19th anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting in Colorado. In Watsonville, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. After that walkout, Watsonville High School hosted a voter registration drive inside the cafeteria. The law allows eligible uh, young people to register to vote at 16, so they are signed up and ready to vote when they turn 18. Many students took advantage of it. I feel like everyone should vote. I feel like any age, I think you could be mentally prepared to just vote and have a strong decision in what to do with the world and with your future. Registering right now gives us an, um, like, it gives us time to like think about what we're gonna do and like our options in life to do. Representatives from the county clerk's office visited all 14 local high school campuses today to register about 450 young people.